Hi, in this video, we're going to look at tile maps in Unity. In the past few videos, um, you will have seen me dragging sprites straight into my scene uh, and moving them around and arranging my scene as I like. So for example, I've, I've dragged a player sprite in here and I've dragged in different platforms and, and grass and ladders and, and things like that. And then I've used the different mood tools and rotate and scale tools just to position everything uh, how I like in my scene. And I've also organized the assets in the hierarchy. So I've uh, kind of organized my ladders here um, and I've also organized the different platforms and spikes and crystals. So I've tried to keep things organized, um, but it can still get really messy uh, when you're adding a lot of different assets to your scenes. And um, it can be very time consuming as well. If, if I wanna really build this scene up, and expand the, the level and add lots of different platforms and maybe some ground down here. Uh, it's it's gonna be very time consuming just dragging in these assets all the time and positioning them together, particularly for things like ground and also for things like these ladders here. So to get these long ladders, I've actually just uh, added three uh, separate ladders and stacked them on top of each other. But um, there's actually another way of uh, of doing this. So this is where tile maps really help out. So with a tile map, for example, if you want to add a large patch of ground to a scene, you can easily just select a, a tile of ground. So you can select a ground tile and then just paint it in your scene. Same for something like a ladder. All right, so we could have one short ladder as an individual tile and then basically paint that tile in the scene to create a really long ladder in just you know, one click and drag. All right, so it can save a lot of time for creating things like ground, um, grass, and, uh, dirt, uh, shrubs and things like that, ladders, all those kinds of things can be uh, done with tiles or tile mapping. Okay, so you can use a graphics editing app to create tile maps or individual tiles. Um, you can create a sheet of tiles that you can import into Unity or just uh, individual tiles as separate images. And in, in this video, what we're gonna do is look at how to use tiles uh, when they're just as separate images. So I'm using this um, free pixel space platform pack, um, which is by Aiden Art. It's on the Unity Asset Store. And I'm gonna do something like this. So I'm gonna create, um, I'm gonna use these tiles here for ground. So instead of, if each of these tiles was a separate sprite, and I was just dragging them each into the scene and then moving them to sort of stack them on top of each other or position them next to each other, that would take a lot of time to do. And then you'd also notice that in your uh, hierarchy, you'd, get, you'd have a lot of different sprites in your hierarchy and it would just become a, a complete mess. So what I'm gonna do is use these tiles that are part of this uh, free asset pack and just paint the tiles in the scene really quickly and really easily. All right, so if you wanna use this, it's the free pixel space platform pack by Aiden Art, and I'll leave a link in the description, but that's what I'm gonna be using in this video. And in that pack, there's a folder called tiles, and we can see all the different tiles here. There's steps as well as um, for, for ground. Okay, so you can use your own graf graphics editing app to create your own tiles, and you, they could either be exported as individual tiles like, like this, um, or you can actually create what's called a, a sheet of a, a tile sheet or sprite sheet containing tiles um, that are kind of organized into a grid and you can import them in. Um, we won't look at that in this video. We'll look at how to do that in another video. What we'll do in this video is look at how to use individual tile images. So firstly, what you'll need to do is go to window and uh, package manager. And you'll just need to check, so from here, this drop down menu here, just click on Unity Registry, and you'll just need to check that you have these two packages installed. So 2D Sprite and 2D Tile Map Editor, because you might not have this installed if you're using Unity uh, for the first time or you're doing tile maps for the first time. So click on 2D Sprite and um, click on Install or Download, whatever the option is, I've already got it installed. And then do the same thing for the 2D Tile Map Editor, make sure you download and in install that and um, that'll be ready to use in Unity. If you don't use that, then when you use the 2D, um, when you use the Sprite Editor, you'll probably receive an error message saying that uh, it's not available. 
and you won't be able to, um, you won't see the options for creating a, a tile map either. So if you encounter those problems, it's because you haven't installed these two packages. So 2D Sprite and 2D Tile Map Editor. Make sure you do that first. All right. All right, the next step is that you'll need to go and find your uh, tile sprites in your assets. Uh, so I've got them all laid out here. And then you'll need to select them and make sure that the texture type is Sprite 2D and UI. And if you're using individual separate images, so these are all just PNG files here. If you're doing it that way, then you would um, change, it's a set sprite mode to single. If you were using a single file that's containing all the different um, tiles in it, so a sprite sheet containing all the different tiles, then you would select multiple, and then you'd go into the sprite editor and you could uh, splice up the, the tile sheet into a grid so it can organize each individual tile. Um, and then you'd grid them by a cell size and, and splice them. But um, because I'm going to be using each individual files here for my tiles, I'm going to leave sprite mode as single. And the next thing is to set pixels per unit to the size of your actual tile. So I know that these tiles are 480 by 480 pixels. So that's the size of the image. So I'm just going to type in 480 there and hit enter. Now. I'm going to do it for all the other tiles as well. So what I can actually do is just hold down shift and select the first one and the last one. So now they're all selected. And uh, I'm going to type in 480 here for pixels per unit. Hit enter or just click off here. And it's going to ask if I want to apply those changes. So I'll click apply. Now they should all be the same. They should all be um, 480 pixels. So that's their size. Okay, so that's the first thing we need to do. Now what we'll need to do up here in the hierarchy is click on the plus here um, and go down to 2D object and then tile map. And depending on the version of Unity you have, you might just be able to click on tile map. But um, in this version, I go tile map and then rectangular. All right, and you'll see that it adds a grid to your hierarchy. All right, and you can see the grid here in the scene view. And then you can also see it adds a, a tile map there as well. All right, so I'm going to rename this tile map just to, um, this is going to be my main tile map for the ground. So I'm just going to call it the base tile map and hit return or we'll enter to save that. And once you've added that grid um, and you've created a tile map, you can add more tile maps. You can have as many tile maps on your grid as you like. And you can kind of think of, of a tile map as an individual layer. So for example, I could add uh, ground tiles and then on top of those ground tiles, I might want to add some other tiles of a different type. So you can add more than one tile map and treat them like layers. All right, um, once you've selected that tile map, you'll be able to see over here in the inspector panel, there's a few different properties that we can change like the color, um, the sorting layer as well of this tile map. Um, and or the order that it appears in the layer. So if we have more than one tile map, we can rearrange the, the layers there. All right, next step is to, um, we, we need to click on the open tile palette button here, all right, which will open up this panel here. Um, or And if you can't see that panel or if it disappears, you can go to window um, and then down to 2D and tile palette, all right and that will open up this palette here. What I'm gonna do is just drag that tab and I'm gonna pin it over here. Oops, it's a little bit tricky to get this right. There we go. I'm gonna drop it there so it's um, pinned here so it's not gonna disappear. And then what you'll need to do is click on um, create new palette. Okay, so you'll need to give it a name and I'm just going to uh, call this one ground. Um, grid is rectangle, cell size automatic, click create. And then it's gonna ask where I wanna um, create this palette. So I'm going to go to uh, assets. I'm gonna make a new folder called palettes, create that. And I'm gonna save it in that um, folder there. So I'm gonna select all of these tiles here, hold down shift so that they're all selected. And if you were using um, a single sprite sheet full of tiles, then you would just you know, drag that in. Um, but as these are all individual tile images, I'm gonna just drag them all in, drop them in there, 
let go. And now it's going to um, generate tiles from these images. So they're just PNG file images. Now it's going to generate actual tiles to use in Unity. So I'm going to save this in another folder. I'm just going to go back to the main assets folder, created a new folder called tiles. Choose that folder and it's generating those tiles and now they're, they're here ready to use. So you can now select a tile and just paint it um, straight into your scene on, on that grid. So um, you can click on that, that tile map here and we can see the grid. I'm just gonna move around my scene. And what I might do is I might add some ground just down here in this area. So I'm gonna click on one of these tiles. Now all of these tiles here are from using these images down here. So you can rearrange this, um, but you might need to click on them and work out which one they are first. So um, if I click on that one and I'm using this little paintbrush tool here, all I do now is just click here, hold down my mouse and I can paint in these um, squares, these cells on the grid. Okay, and if I want some stairs, I can click on that and then just click there to add some stairs and you know, I might add some stairs here as well. Okay, so you can add different tiles like that. You're just basically using that paintbrush tool to paint them on. Now, if you want to erase a tile, there's one here I don't want anymore, you can click on the little eraser button and then select the tiles that you want to uh, remove. All right, so I might want to just get rid of those for now. And then you can go back to the paintbrush and you can uh, select whatever other tiles you want. Okay, so yeah, you just use that paintbrush and you can paint those tiles on really easily. It's saving a lot of a lot of time doing it that way. All right, you can also toggle with the, um, you can click on edit. So if you click on edit, toggle that on. Now you can select tiles from here and you can move them around if you wanted to. So um, if I wanted to move that one, I could click it, click the move tool and then just drag it to where I want it to go. All right, so that's while edit is toggled on. All right, um, now that might just be if you wanna re, just rearrange the tiles in here to select. I know these all look the same, but they're actually different. So the one that I've most used is this tile here, right? Which seamlessly joins them all together, but there are some other tiles in here that have different edges. So um, for example, this one, if I zoom in here, you can see it has black lines here. So you might use this on one of the corners. Uh, this one, it's got black lines on the bottom corner, so you might use it for the bottom corner. Uh, what have we got? We've got a few different ones here. This one here you might use for the top. All right, you can see it's got a black line at the top of that uh, tile. All right, so you might want to rearrange these so that it's just a bit easier to find the ones that you're looking for, um, but basically, um, they'll all be there ready to use. All right. Um, to erase tiles, I mentioned that you can use that eraser tool. You can also, while you're using the brush tool, you can just hold down shift as well to erase. So that works in the same way, just save you a bit of time. So hold down shift while you've got the brush tool and click and it will delete a tile. All right, I might bring those back. Um, you can also fill an area with tiles using the box tool. All right, so if I click on that, I could just zoom out a little bit here. I could fill this entire area and just draw a big box and it will fill it with tiles. All right, I'll undo that because I don't really like that. Um, also, you could fill in an area. So if I just, whoops, still got the box tool selected. Let's go back to the paintbrush tool. If I just draw that area out there, what I can do is grab the paint bucket looking tool over here and then just you can use that to fill in a hole so if I click that hole there it's now filled in with um, with the the tile that I selected from over here okay um, oh and another thing that you can do is use the picker um, so the picker is here and that allows you to pick a tile that you've already used and now um, with the paintbrush tool you'll be painting that on your scene okay um, if you are using the paintbrush tool instead of clicking on the picker, you can just hold down the control key and it should allow you to do the same thing. So you hold down control to pick the area you wanna select and then you can use the brush tool to paint that on. All right, so if I wanna get this bit here, I should be able to hold down control and now that's gonna be the, the tile that I'm using to paint over here.
if you have a look at um, with these stairs here, if I try and add more stairs over here, you'll notice that it adds that, um, it, it kind of removes the background there, right? It's got a different background if I try and add, add um, another staircase here, all right? And so what I might wanna do is just add staircases on top of the existing tiles. So to do that, you can just add another tile map. If you select the existing grid, because I've already got a grid, we don't need a second grid. If you select that, right click and go to 2D object, tile map and rectangular, you get another tile map that you can use. So I'm gonna call uh, this one stairs. All right, now you still have access to the same palette, but now what you can do is change the active tile map. So instead of drawing on this tile map, it's kind of like drawing on another layer. I can select stairs. All right, and now as long as the order in the layer is, um, I might want to change that to one so it's a higher number. What that will do is make this layer in front of the existing tiles. So now I can draw, oops, I don't want to draw all of those. Just want one there, one there, one there. So basically what's going on here is I'm adding some, uh, adding tiles on top of another layer of tiles, All right, So we've got two tile maps here on the same grid, okay? So that's it. So in this video, we've looked at how to um, how to do tile mapping using individual images. Uh, later on in this series, I'll make another video on how to do tile mapping when you've got uh, a sprite sheet of tiles. All right. So there's another another method of, of doing this. That's it for this video, though. Thanks for watching.